We often feel like we don't have enough hours in the day to accomplish everything we want. But that is not necessarily true. Like one of my favorite quotes says, you have as many hours in a day as Beyonce. In today's video, I'm going to share my favorite habits that will boost your positivity and productivity and are easy to incorporate in your daily routine for 2019. I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and more about them at the end of this video. An easy way to get more hours out of your day is by waking up early. I know, mind blowing. <laughs> However, if you're struggling with becoming a morning person, and I am so guilty of that too, here are some tips you can add to your routine to make waking up in the mornings easier. It's very important to know that you cannot become a morning person overnight. Changing from being a night owl to waking up every morning at 6 a.m. is just not realistic. Instead, try to ease your mind into it. It's a great thing that our brains are actually very prone to routine and training. So instead of just blandly changing your complete routine, you can slowly train your brain to wake up earlier. An easy way to do this is to set your alarm a couple minutes earlier every day. It doesn't matter how long it takes, it matters that you get there. So if your goal, for example, is to wake up at 6.30 a.m., but you usually wake up around 7.30, take your time setting your alarm every day a little bit earlier, and I promise you, you will be able to wake up very easily and without being grumpy every morning at 6.30. Do you have trouble falling asleep early? Try to create your own before bed ritual. Instead of randomly falling asleep in the middle of the night with your laptop still on your lap, try to minimize the use of electronics one hour to at least 30 minutes before you go to bed. Instead, try to do something that will ease your mind into dozing off asleep, such as listening to relaxing music, taking a bath with essential oils, or read one of your favorite books. If you feel like you still have a lot of work to do and you can't really spend your before bed ritual relaxing, that is no problem too. If you're studying, try to plan your readings before bed rather than summarizing your books on your laptop. And if you're working, you can plan out your next day using your planner instead of answering your emails late at night. This way, you still feel productive before going to bed but more in a calming way. You can totally personalize your before bed ritual the way you like. These are just some steps that I personally like to take. Is your biggest issue that you're snoozing too much? Don't feel embarrassed, we've all been there, trust me. The comforts of our beds, especially during an early morning, can make us feel lazy and unproductive and we just don't wanna get out of bed. So instead of pressing that snooze button again and again, Try to wake up whenever your alarm rings. I would recommend switching your alarm to one of your favorite energizing songs. For example, I love to wake up with some Frank Ocean or SZA or Her. I think when I listen to those songs, I feel very empowered and I instantly start with a good mood. And if you're afraid that your favorite song will be associated as your alarm, try to switch out your song every other day or a couple times a week. Another habit that is great to incorporate in your daily routine to boost your positivity and productivity is by being more intentional. The time we are able to spend on this earth is our most precious gift of life. However, so often do we spend our time doing useless things or procrastinating. So why? Why do we spend so much of our time doing worthless things or procrastinating? A good way to combat this is by practicing intentionality. Intentionality is something that has been a hot topic in philosophy over decennia. Philosophers such as Plato, Kant and Brentano have discussed this topic very thoroughly. Intentionality comes from the Latin word intentio, meaning directed at. Intentio is in its turn derived from the Latin verb intendere, which means being directed towards something or goal. Intentionality stands for the power of our minds to be about, to represent, or to stand for things, properties, and states of affairs. Intentionality has often been discussed in philosophy when it comes to the mysteries of our minds. 
What are our minds? How do certain mind states relate to physical states? And how can our mind state influence our behavior? The philosopher Brentano believed in two things. First of all, he believed that all conscious states are intentional. And secondly, he believed that all intentional states are conscious. However, if all conscious states are intentional, what about mindless procrastination? Or that feeling that we're living on an autopilot mode that we all sometimes experience. This does not seem to fit Brettano's premises, and it looks like we can describe this as a conscious state without intention. This is a category that is unproductive and we definitely don't want to be in it. So even though understanding intentionality on a philosophical level can be quite challenging, being more intentional in your daily life definitely doesn't have to be. A very simple yet effective way to cut out all that unintentional activity is by turning off your phone or turning off the notifications. How often are we mindlessly scrolling through Instagram, checking all the new pictures, checking our Facebook or WhatsApp or text messages, even if we didn't get any important updates? It's totally fine to be offline. You don't have to be reachable 24 seven. That's totally fine. And it's very healthy for your mind. And it will also combat your procrastination. I know it's hard, but try to put away your phone and turn it off. And even better, try to give your phone to a friend and make them guard your phone and not give it back to you until you're done with your work or your studying. Another way to be more intentional is to write down what you want to do in a day. Writing down is extremely powerful because it helps you visualize your actual goals. And by organizing and visualizing what you're going to do in a day, you are already a little bit closer than you were before. Use a method that works for you. You can use a planner or you can just use a simple to-do list. Whatever is the best solution for you, you should stick to that. I personally like to use both. I use a to-do list whenever I feel like I have a lot of things to do and I don't want to write a schedule out for these things immediately. And then I like to transfer my to-do list into my planner and then plan everything out per hour or per section of the day in order to be even more structured. But stick to whatever helps you. Last but not least, I want to emphasize that intentionality is not only about the big important deadlines. Intentionality is also just as important when it comes to the little things. Things such as eating breakfast or cleaning your apartment or taking off your makeup and doing your skincare routine at night. These little things should be intentional too. And by being more intentional and mindful of the things that you do, you will enjoy these little things more. The last habit I recommend adding to your routine if you want to be more positive and productive in 2019 is by accepting yourself. You don't have to be productive every hour of the day. It is totally fine to not be in the mood to work, to study, or to do anything else you have on your to-do list. Our minds are not machines and they don't work like one either. So don't force it if you don't feel it. Do you have these moments where you have a deadline and you're studying your materials for the next lecture? However, after reading one page, you realize you didn't absorb any information and you've been actually rereading the same sentence over and over again. Yeah, that's definitely not productive. And as someone that works in a creative industry, I struggle with this even more. Sometimes I have important deadlines for certain collabs, for content, and I just feel like I'm not in a mood to create something. If I force it and I still create a video or a photo, more often than not, I end up not using it at all because I just didn't like how it turned out. And you can really see in the picture or the video that I wasn't in a mood. So even though I worked de facto, I just didn't achieve anything. That is why it's important to incorporate acceptance into your daily routine. It's okay to have an unproductive day and to not check off every task of your to-do list. That is probably already way too long anyway. And it's important to not get frustrated with yourself because if you're frustrated, you start thinking negatively and you start losing motivation and you become even more unproductive. Well, if you accept the fact that you had an unproductive day and that you're human and that it's totally okay, you feel the power to try again. 
because if you accept yourself and you accept your mistakes and your failures you know that you can try again because it's okay to fail and by trying again we come closer to our goals little by little while if we stay frustrated with ourselves and our failures we don't feel the need to try again we are scared to fail again so we don't come closer to our goals at all so in the end it's better to have an unproductive day and to accept that and to try it again and slowly but surely come closer to your goals than have these unrealistic expectations of your day fail and feel frustrated after accepting and trying again and coming closer to your goals it's also important to reward yourself. We all live in this digital age of social media and social media is very prone to projecting this certain lifestyle that is perfect. And people on social media all seem to have perfect lives. And if we don't even come close to that, we definitely don't deserve a reward. However, small signs of growth and little accomplishments deserve as much appreciation and rewards as big ones. All those small changes and all those little accomplishments combined can actually be quite big and quite impactful on your life. By rewarding yourself, I don't mean that you should buy a new designer bag or spend a lot of money every time you finish a to-do. I rather mean that it is important to value yourself every step of the way. So reward yourself with your favorite healthy snack or do a face mask or watch your favorite series. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found these habits that will boost your positivity and your productivity in 2019 helpful. I don't want you to feel pressured to incorporate all of them immediately into your routine. It's totally fine to do it step by step. Creating a certain routine and creating habits takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. So slowly but surely incorporate these into your routine and you will definitely see improvement. If you have any other habits that you personally do that definitely boost your productivity and positivity, let me know in the comments down below because I'm always on the lookout for adding little habits to my daily ritual. If you need a little bit of help incorporating these habits into your routine, I also created a printable that you can download on my blog. I will put the link in the description box down below. It's a worksheet that will help you plan out creating those habits and um, I definitely found it very helpful together with using my planner and my to-do list that I will also link in the description box down below. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. It's super easy to create a beautiful website or online store with many award-winning templates on Squarespace. It's an all-in-one platform. You will never have to worry about installing software, patching up things or upgrading. And you will also receive 24-7 customer support. Squarespace is also flexible for any kind of website. It doesn't matter if you are a blogger, webshop owner, artist, designer, or restaurant. Go to squarespace.com slash lilylight to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. So for now, it is time to go. And I really hoped you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. That's greatly appreciated. And this way more people will see you too. And hopefully more people will incorporate these habits into their daily routine. Also, if you don't want to miss any of my further videos, please hit that like button. No, not the like button, subscribe button. The subscribe button and um, you will be updated if I post a new video. And last but not least, if you want to be more interactive with me, if you have any questions, stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm really active over there. I post pretty much daily there. Um, so yeah, come say hi. Um, I would love that. So yeah, without further ado, it's time to go. I love you guys and I'll see you very, very soon in a new video. Bye.